Alrighty, boys, we're bringing back overrated to underrated. Um, haven't done this for a while, but basically we're just going to throw out things that we think are overrated and things that we think are underrated. So uh, I'll go first. The first one for me, this is a little bit controversial. Live sports, overrated. Over? Overrated. How? So like, What do you, uh, what do you mean? You're a sport fiend. What do you mean? Yeah, I am a sport fiend, but like, I think just sitting on your couch, I think the commentary is what it is, right? I really enjoy listening to commentary. And if you're at the ground... You're just there with your own thoughts watching this spectacle. Or do you unfold. mean watching at the the stadium? Live, live, not live. Not like you're at home, but you're watching. Yeah, it yeah no, no, I don't like religiously <laughs> watch you know, the US Open four hours after it happened. Like, because I hate watching it live. No, it's at the like, stadium or ground is what I think is overrated. I don't, I think you don't go there to watch the sport, to be honest. If I'm going there, it's for the vibe. Being you're for there for the vibe, exactly. I agree. You're there for the vibe. The vibe is better at home. Like, you have a couple of mates around, <laughs> sink a couple of beers, have some pizza and stuff. I don't want to go to the stadium, pay $30 for a sausage roll and $50 for a mid-strength beer, which then I have to throw in the air if a goal is scored. Do you know what I mean? Like, I remember, like, watching a football game um, and you're in, like, the section where the diehard fans are, right? And, like, every time a goal is scored, the beers fly. And that's kind of fun. It is kind of fun, but I don't like throwing my beer. It's a lot of money. Nah. I, I went to that similar sort of fan area. That is a vibe, bro. You're with all these other people that are like passionate about the sport. When a goal is scored, everyone's just going insane. You don't get that at mm. home. Yeah, you will never get that at home, that ambience, dude. That that that, that diegetic sound at the stadium is truly unreal. And also, if you're watching at home, you can invite any man or their dog to watch at your house. You know, they don't not passionate about the sport. They don't mm. give a shit. They could be on their phone, not caring. Literally a dog. You can invite a dog. Your dog. Your dog Literally. could be watching, not give a shit. <laughs> but if you're at the stadium... If it's a 30,000 capacity, you're with 30,000 mm. people that care. Yeah. Goal scored, you hear everyone. It's unreal. The roar of the crowd, dude. It's not the same. Even if you have a good little sound system, it's not the same. <laughs> I'll agree with that. It's not the the bass at the crowd, dude. It's it's just real bass. That's what it and is. And the treble. Don't forget the <laughs> treble. What it is, is I don't feel tense at the crowd. Like, if I'm in the crowd, I don't feel tense. Yeah, it's like the... I, I just feel more tense at home. Like, I feel way more stressed if I'm watching it on the TV than I do in the game, which I kind of like. Makes me feel alive a little bit more. At the crowd, I do agree, the supporters and stuff and the vibe is good, but I just enjoy the calm nature of sitting down, hearing the commentary, getting a little bit tense. I think it's a little bit overrated. I think this is a you problem. I think you're getting old, bro. That's what I'm hearing. You want the comforts of your house. Yeah, I missed the part where this is my problem, bro. Right? <laughs> for me, like, this is a complete vibe for me going to the crowd. Like Even when um when you go, like when I used to go watch that like, cricket with my brother and like the fam, dude, even if you're from far away, it's the vibe, it's the vibe with the crowd, man. The real Dolby digital sound that you're there. It's uh, beautiful. Sure, sure, is there sports that you prefer to watch on TV? Or is it literally every sport you watch, you would rather go to the ground? If I had the option and the money, mm. I would rather go to the ground. Every single one. Okay. I would say so. And well, you'd, time. Have to care about the, you'd have to care about the sport, like golf. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I don't care about golf, right? I'm sure if I was a golf ultra, I'd be going and watching. Uh, yeah. Th- that's like tennis, thing. soccer. I'd make every day. F1, like Formula One, or even golf, right? You literally seeing one corner. If you're at the arena, you literally see the car drive around for one corner or the golfer do one swing. And then that's your day. Yeah, no, F1, I don't understand. You're in one section of the track. Yeah. It makes sense. How no do you know sense. what's going on? My one is somewhat related to that one. It's an underrated live sport. Underrated Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh he is fucking God. underrated, boys. He is the greatest player of all time. He is back home. Unreal. Live sport, mate. If I was at that ground, uh, oh my God, I could die tomorrow and be a happy man. <laughs> the sound, bro. When he scored, the crowd, the celebration, dude. Th- those are moments you live for. True. True. I think Ronaldo is quite heavily rated. <laughs> also, underrated. Like 21 is quite rated. Even in FIFA, bro. Underrated. People say Messi's the GOAT. That man went to a farmer's league, bro. He's playing against fucking retired players or some shit. Ronaldo's doing in the greatest league. I don't care. I, 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 don't, I don't follow football at all, but seeing that video of him scoring and the celebration, I was like, ooh, this is... Exactly. It's a vibe. It's a really good experience. And the man's back. He's at home. He's home. Welcome back. But he's very well read. Yeah, there is no, no over still under underrated. Still underrated. Still underrated. Everyone says I will he's die like the best hill. of all time. How is this all... You know, equal best of all time. That's why he's underrated. He's <laughs> undisputably the best player of all time. That is why he's underrated. So um, I have a mate who's like a diehard Messi fan. And so when mm. I was overseas, um, he spent 
I think he spent a thousand euros for an El Clasico ticket. And this guy was like kind of poor on exchange to afford the trip to Spain from the Netherlands where we were staying. The whole trip cost him 5,000 euros. And then he had two months remaining where he was eating bananas for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because he couldn't afford to buy food because <laughs> he spent all his money to go see Messi. Turns out that was the one El Clasico where Messi got injured like a week before. <laughs> oh, so my God. Man sitting in like this seat <laughs> watching Barcelona play without his like the one person he came to see. I think he would argue even, dare I say, that Ronaldo is correctly rated as underrated. Underrated. All right. You know what is underrated though? Like actually underrated? Stretching, I feel. is <laughs> Fucking Dude. Hell. You are getting old. That's why <laughs> both of yours are telling us. You're getting old. So like, I've decided to- inc- I've realized I've got maybe like some stiff hips or something. I don't know. Anterior pelvic tilt. Also, just on the back of that, right? <laughs> For some reason, I have an inherent distrust of physios. Like, I respect doctors as a profession, but I don't think physios are real. <laughs> Isn't your brother a physio? Yeah, that's fine. I don't tell him to his face. <laughs> I don't respect what you do. But I've decided to, like, do some stretching in the morning because, anyways, there's, I just feel a bit stiff, right? The feeling you get after stretching is, dare I suggest, unmatched. It is quite a good feeling. Orgasmic. Not quite that level, but close. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hesitation. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so like right now my routine is this 10-15 minutes in the morning and all of this is 10-15 minutes right you get up in the morning you've got the yoga mat set up nice down there earpods in listen to a podcast do a bit of stretch for the hips bit of Asian squat glute bridges planks oh it feels good I'll tell you that much <laughs> get on it so is it like straight away when you get up or like you do you brush your teeth you take your, your morning dump if you do so and then you go into stretching or is it out of bed, stretch time. Here we it's go. Out of bed, stretch, and then you know, brushing your teeth, washing your face, have a shower, oh. take a dump. I back that. A lot of a lot of athletes say they do yoga, and yoga is mm. what prolongs careers. And even professionals, they do yoga. As in, like work professionals, they do yoga and living the dream because they're sitting at the desk eight hours. Well, the only yoga I've yoga done sorts your body out. is laughing yoga. Famously, dude, I would like to do a yoga <laughs> session if anyone would like to join me. Then you without Zoom. laughter, yeah, without laughter, a regular <laughs> yoga session without some shrieking woman scaring you off all righty i have one overrated and i'll be honest it might be more outlandish than my underrated go on <laughs> kanye west's new album donda unbelievably yes. overrated sickeningly overrated it's 29 tracks bro <laughs> it took me a week to get through i listened to the first five they sounded somewhat the same i'm like fuck, fuck me there's 29 to go and the first track where he just says donda for about three minutes that set the tone. Oh, <laughs> Overrated. First of all, it was Donda for 53 seconds. Second of all, it was in, I think it was in the same beat as his mother's heartbeat or something like that as she was about to die. That doesn't make it That's good. That's nice. Dude. That's visionary. Cool. <laughs> it's beautiful. No, it's not. Is it, a good, is it a good listen musically? No. You know? It's what not. was Drake's album called? Get it in a documentary. Put it there. <laughs> Certified Lover Boy. Ten times better than Donda. You reckon that was ten times I better? I will also say that was trash. That was, that was proper trash. Certified Lover Boy, I will say with my chest, was much better than Donda. Drake is so clear of Kanye West. Both albums are not music. They were not music. <laughs> they were just, look, I'm not a very musical person, but I listened to three tracks of the Drake's album and I was like, <laughs> this is abhorrent this makes me want to vomit this is actually straight up garbage Dude. that man has no musical taste he makes the same track over the same beat with the same vocal and that mode. one track is aligned chef's no, kiss no. i've heard this album before man, when he said heard it before. when he said when he said the girl was a lesbian and drake is too fuck bars i had to think about that one <laughs> That's unreal. Chris doesn't get it. I'd rather listen to his <laughs> dead mother's heartbeat over that. I'll be honest. <laughs> I would much rather listen to that. Anyways, Drake aside, why did the 29 songs was my biggest gripe? Because I'm I'm not the biggest Kanye West fan, fair enough. But I was happy to listen to it. 10 songs. I'm bro, wrap this up a bit. 29, <laughs> think of 29 <laughs> songs. How am I the only one like fucking outraged by this? That's unreal. I think 29 songs is like if I was a, 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 like that's a feature film. That's not an album. I think if I was a... I'm not really a music guy either, right? I like Kanye West fine. But if I was a Kanye West fan and he released more music, I'm like, yes, that's sick. I get more of the man that I want to see. If he released like five songs, I don't know about that. The happy medium. Not five, not 29. Sweet spot in the middle. Look, I'm going to say this. The album done that was far more original than something like Drake's, which it makes it way more interesting for me to want to listen, which I'll give him credit for that. I think Kanye as a person is... 
someone who should not be put on a pedestal, but we do for some reason, and I'll never know why. But his album is more original than listening to the same vocalized trash that Drake puts out. So Original. You'll listen to it once out of interest and never again. But I've listened to it once out of interest. It gets better more. Like I've enjoyed some songs more than others, right? And even like, for example, that guy on YouTube, like Fantano or whatever, The Needle Drop, that music guy. The Needle Drop. Yeah. Anthony Fantano, yeah. He's given Donder a 7 out of 10. Soft 7. Light 7. Light Soft seven. 7. And CLB, 3. Yeah, but he gave KSI's new album all over the place a 6. <laughs> so what? KSI's <laughs> twice as good as Drake. Just the album was better yep. than Drake's. The KSI's album was okay, though. It actually was decent. It actually it was underrated. Okay. Quickly underrated. KSI's <laughs> album, underrated, all over the place, is so it good. It is a good album. And better than Drake's. It is a good album. Suggest. It absolutely is. For a man who used to rap about Heskey <laughs> and Lamborghinis... <laughs> <laughs> to featuring with Lil Durk and all them lot, unreal. What album. was his song with Lil Wayne? I love that. Was a good song. Lose. Yeah, dude, nice. KSI featuring. And Lil I Wayne. remember when Holiday first came out, the first song KSI sings in. Rohit was like, "This is the first KSI song I've actually yeah, enjoyed." Holiday's a banger. It's a nice little track that is. I will agree with you. KSI album all over the place, underrated. I can't agree with you with Donda. I'm sorry, and the outrageous Donda Drake overrated. take. <laughs> <laughs>